Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something truly next level, OpenAI Codex CLI. A lightweight coding agent that lives right in your terminal. This is not just another AI tool, it's a command line interface powered by GPT-4 that understands your natural language and turns it into working code. File edits, git commands and more. If you are a developer, this could seriously change the way you code. Let's get started. OpenAI CLI is an open source project. Expect us to open source more things over time, but exactly what and when and how we're trying to figure out there. Project created by OpenAI to demonstrate how AI can assist developers directly in their coding environment. No IDE needed. Think of it as having an intelligent coding partner right inside your terminal. You type something like create a new Python script that fetches Bitcoin prices from an API and Codesk write the code saves the files and even commits to git for you. It can read your product files, iterate over changes and run commands, all guided by natural language. Today OpenAI introduced uh, their new models O3 and O4 mini. Let's take a look at the benchmarks. They are better performing than O1 and O3 mini. Let's look at the coding benchmarks. O3 high over here and O4 mini high. Both are beating O1 high and O3 mini high by a landslide. O4 mini is not passing the test, but O3 is nailing it. For this video, we're going to use Windsurf IDE. Um, they just announced a new promotion. Uh, O4 mini models are available if you update to version 1.6.5 uh, and they're free for a limited time. Uh, just uh, two days uh, ago they announced uh, GPT 4.1 and that's also free until 21st of April. Let's dive into how to use the codex when we are Testing it with our prompt. I've set up a prompt for it. Let's see how it performs. Create a Python script that fetches the top five hacker news stories using the Hacker News API. It's thinking. It's just, uh, going to read the instructions and generate the script automatically. All right. It's thinking. Can I expand the thinking? Oh, cool. Let's see. Thinking for 18 seconds, and this is what it came up with. All right, this this is pretty good to remember. Uh, I've had a new script fetched. Uh, uh, let's see what it. Oh, nice! It's over here. It's the new script. Okay. Um, to run it. Yeah. Okay. We can just run it and test it. Uh, and we will need the request library. Okay. I showed the generate script in the terminal. This the script. Let's make this a little bit shorter. Right. Let's uh, test the generated script. Python fetch. Hi. Let's see. It does. Hit just one shot at. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go back to the agent. Okay. Um, so we just created the, the file. Okay, refactor, let's refactor. Uh, fetch gen dot bi to use here lib in instead of request thinking rewrites the file and explains the changes now let's commit that with git using another natural language command it rewrites the file and explains the changes okay let's continue right still working thinking uh, okay oh it want to uh, want to run the file Want to test it? <laughs> nice look. It's testing and it's explaining the changes. 
uh, refactor the, the file to drop request and use their standard URL lib uh, plus JSON instead. Give you pretty clear uh, answers. Okay, let's try it again and run it. Let's see if it will run again. Nice, it's still working. This is pretty impressive for uh, uh, this tool is incredibly powerful, but it's not perfect. Sometimes it might misinterpret your prompt or make mistakes in the code, especially with more complex logic. So while it's a great assistant, you're still the developer. Think of Codex as an AI powered copilot, not a replacement. Codex CLI is a glimpse into the future of software development. As AI agents like this improve, we'll spend less time writing boilerplate and more time solving real problems. And with projects like this being open source, anyone can build on top of it. That's it for today. If you want to try Codex CLI yourself, I will drop the link to the GitHub repo in the description. Let me know in the comments what kind of project you would use it for. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see more AI tools in action. Thanks for watching.